Hey folks, so the dollar is at a 14 year high today um, when looking at the dollar index, which is the index that a lot of people focus on and certainly the media when they want to talk about the dollar. Uh, and I find this to be very fascinating and very curious. Uh, now you may remember that back in 2008 and 2009 we had all the idiots and all the zombies and all the mousy boys following people like Peter Schiff and others and Jim Rogers who said that the dollar was going to collapse. They all thought we were going to get hyperinflation and a collapse in the dollar from the Fed's uh, extraordinary monetary measures at the time, which included uh, cutting the interest rates to zero. It included asset purchases. Now, I was not one of these people. And you can go back to my blog and look at the many, many blog posts that I put up at the time saying that the dollar was incredibly bullish at the time. And in fact, the only thing that kept the dollar from really shooting up higher uh, at the moment when the Fed really started to engage these massive new measures was the fact that the Fed was conducting uh, huge amounts of central bank liquidity swaps or Forex swaps with foreign central banks. Now, this this went virtually undiscussed. But again, you could go back in my blog and just Google or, or search for uh, Forex swaps and you'll see the many uh, posts that I put up at the time. At one time in 2008, these Forex swaps were the largest single item on the Fed's balance sheet. And while everybody was talking about the bailout of General Motors and, and the money that the Fed was lending to banks, which it basically had to do under its, you know, the reason for its existence, the reason for its creation. Nobody said anything about these Forex swaps, which were literally unsecured loans, dollar loans, not just to foreign central banks, but that those dollars were then re-lent out to foreign firms and financial institutions. So while everybody was crying about GM, which was like an $11 billion or $15 billion bailout, the Fed had almost $800 billion of Forex swaps on its books. Now, why is that important? The, the world was so short dollars at the time that the Fed literally had to give $800 billion to foreign central banks to stop a run which would have been a spectacular dollar spike. It really should have been challenged by Congress, but it wasn't. Now, at that time, it was one of the um, pieces of evidence that I put forth to say the dollar is going to scream higher. The entire world was short dollars. And now you get these same people who were clueless about the dollar back in 2008. They're the ones buying right now, and they're buying because they're saying, oh, the Fed is going to raise interest rates. And they're buying on the so-called Trump effect, which is what? We don't even know what that is. They're just throwing a term out there. Okay, but the Trump effect, if we're going to characterize that now or, or, or define that now, I would say the Trump effect is fiscal stimulus. So fiscal stimulus combined with um, rate hikes, which is another form of fiscal stimulus, because that functionally is the government spending more money on interest this time. That is not bullish for the dollar. That is bearish for the dollar. And I submit to you one more piece of evidence. Well, remember those Forex swaps that I just spoke about back in 2008, which reached $800 billion because the world was really, really, really short dollars? Well, guess where they are now? The, the total amount of Forex swaps on the Fed's books right now is a paltry, measly $1 billion. That's it. And that's up from a couple of weeks ago when it was virtually down to zero. There is no sign anywhere, anywhere in the entire world that uh, the world is short dollars. They have plenty of dollars, okay? This dollar rally, I'm going to go on record right now, just as I went on record with the what I said with stocks, which I was absolutely correct, what I said with uh, interest rates, which I was absolutely correct. The dollar rally is ending, and the dollar is going to be going down at least for the next four years, maybe longer. I'm going to repeat that. The dollar rally is ending, and the dollar will be going down in a downtrend for at least the next four years. At least the next four years. This could be the ultimate dollar peak, because you know Trump wants to do things like impose tariffs on China. All these things could lead to 
uh, a long-term decline in the dollar. That's not necessarily bad for the United States. Uh, I'm just saying that as a trader, as an investor, I see the same fools who were selling the dollar back in 2007 and 2008. They're buying the dollar now. So it's not going to work. The dollar is peaking out. I have short dollar positions on right now. I know some of you who are an MMT trader. You have short dollar positions on with me. They're a little bit underwater right now, but what I can say to you is be patient. It's going to be fine. We're going to make a lot of money on these positions. The dollar is going down. Please mark this video because you're going to want to go back to this six months, a year from now, three years from now, and see what I said. And by the way, I have videos. If you go back to my early, early videos on my channel, on this very channel, you could see back in 2008 where I said the dollar's going up. So it's all out there, okay? It's not like I'm just saying, hey, I said that back then. It was recorded. Uh, we have the, you know, I have the proof that I said it. It's all out there. All right, that's all I wanted to say. Bye.